Like I'm gonna ask a question here that's gonna divide the viewers in half. Technology, when you think technology, does it bring us closer together and connect us more or does it divide us and pull us apart? You know that this right here forever. Come, come. And there will be no surrender. This right here forever. One of the most powerful things today is this thing we call technology. I get it. iPhones, iPads, tablets, Nintendo Switch, games, TVs, electronics, electronics, electronics. One of the biggest problems today is these are just tools. So I hear people all the time like, oh, social media is bad or technology is bad. But the reason they say that is because for them, technology is ripping their marriages apart. There are studies today where couples are in bed with their cell phone, and instead of making love to each other, they're making love to their cell phone. There's problems today where parents are with their children and they just hand them the cell phone as if the cell phone or the tablet is actually going to raise their children. Now I get it, there's a context for all these situations. So how do we make it technology actually connect us? Wouldn't you like to know how instead of having technology pull you apart, distract you, sedate you? Would you like to know how you can actually have technology bring us closer together, bring more happiness into our lives, and help us become super connected versus super lonely? I wanna share with you things that a lot of our clients, right, people who come to us, they have this problem and we actually help them. So number one, right, clarity. When you have a cell phone or a tablet, you've got to be clear about what you really want. One of my favorite authors of the past said it this way, right? Begin with the end in mind. Most people today, they're not clear, right? Most parents, they just, here you go, this is just how we do it, this is how it works. So they just sit on their phones and there's no clarity. But what if you were clear? And when I say clear, like you actually knew what you wanted from your marriage or you actually knew how you wanted the relationship with your children to be. I have a client, a very successful man, comes to us and he's on the verge of divorce, losing his wife and his children. And one of the problems was he was so connected here to everyone using social media for his business, for his clients, that he forgot to be connected with his family. And so I'm gonna share with you three powerful things that will help you and I've already shared the first one, which is clarity. I helped our client get clear, and I, all I said was, well, what is the outcome that you want with your wife and your children? And he told us. So, can you get clear right now? now? Are you clear about what you want with technology as well as with your family? Number two, technology is a tool. Now, you might be like, well, I know that, but like a shovel is just a shovel, right? a hammer is just a hammer. You have to learn how to utilize the tool. So how do you utilize this tool? Like part of utilizing the cell phone or, or the technology is simply this. Use it to connect. And when I say that, send messages, send videos, right? Appreciation. I, look, I have a 12 year old right now and I'll send him messages all the time. Like, I love you, son. I'm proud of you. We'll send, and look, that's cool for me, but you know, he likes to send, you know, gifts and, and funny things. So I send him those to connect. How can you use your technology today to connect? Right? I'm not gonna use a shovel to try to screw in a little screw, I'm gonna use a screwdriver. So use the tool to connect. I send messages to my wife every single day. I send messages to my clients every single day. And this client, he began this ritual of sending a message to his wife and his children every single day. It was a video. Could be a voice message, could be a picture, I'm thinking of you. What would happen in your world today if you started to do that? So number one, get clear. Like what do you want with your family, with your loved ones? Number two, utilize the tool to connect, send messages, send videos, send pictures. And number three was the biggest one for this individual, this client of ours, create rules. We have rules in our home with our cell phones. We have rules that like, there's restrictions and there's agreements. And sometimes people say, well, so Tim, that's kind of restrictive. Well, having rules actually gives you more freedom. When we're on a date night with my wife, we're not on our phones, we're together. 
when we're at the dinner table, we don't have cell phones, we're together, right? When we're at family time, we put all the phones away. Now, every family is gonna be a little bit different because you might have teenagers, maybe you've got children in their 20s and 30s. So you find the simple rules, and you don't need a lot of them, but again, some of our rules are our children's cell phones that never go upstairs. There's a limit to technology and electronics. Why do I do all this? Because it goes back to number one. It goes back to number one, which is, Satema is clear about what he wants with his family. I want technology and the beautiful use and tool that it is to connect us. And the same thing with my client today. Marriage is amazing, right? They date every week. He messages his kids because they have cell phones and they had rules and guidelines to help them be present and more connected. And when they're apart and when he's traveling, he uses his phone just like I do to FaceTime, to Marco Polo, to do all these different apps to connect. Here's my thing for you. Don't blame the tools. Take responsibility and utilize these tools so that you can connect with your family, so you can be closer to them. And instead of being hyper-connected here, which you still can be, be connected face-to-face -face and use these tools to help you. Now, I'd love to share with you the rules that work for my family. They might not all work for you and yours, so you'll have to tweak a little bit, but for a starting point, right, to take this kind of more abstract thing and give you some direction, click beneath, click it, and get our tips to help you give you some guidelines and some strategies so that your family can be super connected, so you can be close, and instead of these being these crazy things that pull you apart, they actually bring you closer together. Click below, thanks so much, and tag someone who you believe that could, this could benefit them, this could help them. Share it on. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.